All right, everyone. Listen. If there is one thing that I have really failed at doing, it's any kind of gardening or farming or growing anything. I have, I just can't do it. So over the past couple of months, I've been saving the seeds for most of the fruits and vegetables that I eat. Got <clears throat> green peppers, orange peppers, dragon fruit, which I'm really excited about, pumpkins, and butternut squash. Additionally, over here, I have some avocado pits, stones, whatever you want to call them, that I have saved, and some pineapples in some various stages of growth, uh, of rooting. So, these are the ones that I'm most excited about. Well, no, not the ones that I'm most excited about. That's the dragon fruit. These are the ones that I am most optimistic about because, honestly, I'm cheating. They're already growing. So what I've done is I've taken the tops off of the pineapples, and as you can see here, they are already starting to root. This one is a few days old. These are a couple of days old. You can just barely see the roots starting to poke out there. And then I have this one that I just cut up today. So, I am not 100% sure how I am going to go about this, but I have a plan, which honestly is pretty, uh, pretty rare for me. And the plan is this. This is a uh, herpetarium. Um, it had a bearded dragon in it, which is no longer in it, quite obviously. And there's no window because that broke. It was, um, it was one of the gifts that was left here by my roommate who moved out. And what it does have is a fluorescent light inside. Now, lizards and plants are, I think, somewhat similar. They require light and food and water, and yeah. So I'm going to repurpose this herpetarium to a seed starting box. Now, while those seeds are starting, I've got half a mind to build an aquaponic system. Now, I could be talking out my butt here, but I'm a big fan of Cody's lab. And he is a lot better at growing food than I am, but he does make it look relatively easy. So I think I'm gonna try to put together an aquaponic system like he's got, maybe slightly different, put my own twist on it, and, um, yeah, maybe if I throw enough science at it, I'll be good at growing plants. That's the plan, at least. Oh, and, uh, I should probably explain. I'm not going out to the store and buying, you know, a couple of pineapples every day. These are actually homegrown, delicious DIY pineapples. The only difference is that I did not plant them. The previous owner of the house had some obsession with pineapples. So there's a row of like 20 pineapple plants in my side yard. So every year I get a few pineapples and uh, you know, so theoretically I know that I, that pineapples can grow and my God, are they delicious, but they can grow where I live in the soil, just Put them in the ground. Yeah. So that's why I have a bunch of pineapple tops.